any of you that suffer from food allergies out there, we have a chef here with us today. She wrote an entire cookbook with allergy-free dessert recipes. Rejoice! There's something sweet in this book just for you. And good morning and welcome to the 9 o'clock hour of the Hey Tele Morning News. We are so thrilled you could join us. We've got some great music lined up, some great guests. It's going to be a good show. You can expect to have just great weather over the next couple of days. Do your allergies prevent you from having desserts? Up next, we'll show you how you can bake your favorite tasty treats. We're back in just a moment. We're going to talk about food allergies, and if you have a food allergy, you know they can range from mildly annoying to downright deadly. And uh, up until recently, there haven't been a whole lot of options out there for people who have food allergies and still wanted to, I don't know, partake in sweets. We have a, a savior to the rescue. This is Elizabeth uh, Gordon. She's an author and has put together an entire cookbook of desserts for people who have all sorts of uh, food allergies. What? Soy, gluten, dairy, dairy what nuts, else? Nuts, eggs. Previously, there was no help for people, really, or was there? Um, not, no, not really, no. And I was diagnosed, I am one of the 12 million Americans with food allergies, and about six years ago I was diagnosed. So I got to the kitchen right away because I've been a lifelong baker to try to find some good treats that I could eat and that were safe. Well, my biggest question is, are these items, the alternatives, the ingredients that you use, and you've brought several of them here with you, are they widely available now? Well, that's the great thing about my book, gluten or Allergy-Free Desserts, because everything in it is gluten, dairy, soy, nuts and egg free and all of the ingredients are pretty easy to find I mean you mentioned before we went on that things are easy to find on the West Coast and the East Coast yeah but what about the rest of the country Yeah, like Ohio exactly or... I'm from Ohio and I actually was amazed that when I went home to see my parents at Christmas I found all of these Yay! ingredients in their local supermarket not even in the health food okay store. so first of all red velvet cupcakes yeah they look good yes do they taste as good as the real deal they really do in fact to the point that my six and a half year old daughter said this year for my birthday I'd like you to make me your red velvet okay. and what is the secret in here because these are gluten free well I'm gonna get to all the ingredients okay. I brought a lot of them with me and the great thing about allergy free desserts also is that all of the ingredients are pretty much the same you just use them in a different configuration for every dessert we'll tell, talk about those in yes. a second so, and this this beautiful this is one of grandma's favorites Absolutely. a pineapple upside down cake yes I love this one it's so easy to make uh, you bake it just like a regular pineapple upside down cake and yeah. flip it over to get the beautiful glaze at the end okay let's talk about these ingredients talk sure. to me about what some of them are what are the key ingredients well today I brought along some ingredients to make these fantastic cool mint patties that yeah. are such a great treat for Easter baskets and for Passover so the most important ingredients that for this recipe are the organic palm fruit oil shortening which I use as a great dairy free substitute for butter or for um, soybean oil sure isn't that interesting yes no trans fat not hydrogenated so it's still good for you. And what's this here in the jar? This is called Lyle's Golden Syrup. Okay. Now, I had never heard of this, but my British friend told me about it. It's a fantastic corn syrup substitute. Oh. And um, it acts the same way. It's a syrupy, and it's just sugar. And we're going to use these ingredients yeah. to make cool mint patties. Yes. What, what do we need to do here? Before we got started, I mixed up all of these ingredients. Okay. The shortening, the Lyle's peppermint extract, and mm. a little bit of vanilla, and okay. some confectioner sugar, and form them into a dough. Don't okay. be afraid to get in there and use your hands. That's okay. what I like to do. Yep. And I've loaded up the scoop. So if you wouldn't want to, if you okay. want to do it, I'm going to load it up. Out. Scoop. Yep. yep. And we're going to roll it in a ball like okay, the like that. that. I'm here. rolling it in a ball. Yep. And then we're just going to take a glass yep. and flatten it. Flatten it's the ball. So easy. This is so easy. I actually made the, some of these in my Yours hotel Yours prettier than mine. Then you dip and them then in chocolate. And then we just dip them in chocolate. Ta da! And do you How put them in the fridge or do you just let that? them cool on their own? We actually put them in the fridge, and if you were making these at home, you would refrigerate between the steps. Okay, we have to test one. They're, They're a little melty because the they live out in the sun. Fantastic. Great for Easter. Right? There's help out there for all of you that have any food allergies. This cookbook, especially if you have a sweet tooth, is fantastic. Um, the recipes featured today are, are going to be on our website, as well as her new book titled Allergy-Free Desserts, Gluten-Free, Dairy-Free, Egg-Free, Soy-Free, and Nut-Free Delights. KTLA.com. Don't try and talk with a cool mint patty in your mouth. <laughs> We're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. It's really good. Thank you.